Well, finally, after a long period of time, and I mean long period of time, from June 17th, 2011 to whatever the fuck today is, I finally get to talk about fetishes going too far. Well, unfortunately, my original script was meant to talk about more than one fetish, but I had to scrap that because it'd be way too long. And what it'd come down to would just be, this is wrong, this is wrong, did I mention this is wrong? Just a clusterfuck of repetition. So to avoid this, I decided to talk about one fetish and a big uproar in their community. Before I hop into this uh, origin of equests and supreme online proportions, let me state this. I realize that not every person in any fetish community is a total fuck nut. So unless I talk about you specifically, you're probably fine. But just in case your autism kicks in, it makes you forget of what I stated, I will put an annotation in the top right hand corner to remind you, okay? Okay, now let's actually start the video at the beginning. There are many ways to tell if you have a problem with a fetish. Some of these can include the following. Sending requests to people constantly when it becomes stalkers behavior, constantly going on about the subject, and finally doing these fetishes on camera or in drawings too much or really at all. An example of these stalking would be people like Chris Rocks 110, Black Evil 912, Sonic Wedgies, and so forth. These people are request stalkers, or at least to me. Chris Rocks 110 particularly is my favorite choice for stalker. He is also pretty horrible about drawing and making characters. Oh my god, look at my muscles! I'm so bad as He is 17 or older. His mentality and spelling tell me he's at least 5 or 6. If you look up Chris RX on the DA search page, you can find plenty of pictures he had requested or paid for. There are even videos that he has asked for people to make. One show here has a girl who is pretty young to ask, call them a creep. That's a good sign when people who do it for you call you a creep too. Two users I wanted to bring up from DA are Maniac Sam and Domestic Catch-All. Both of these users were used by Chris in masturbation material. One of them was asked to make a whole comic about his fetish. The guy didn't like making it and other stuff and he eventually stopped doing them and refused to talk about it. I'm glad he stopped before it got worse. He says he couldn't take all the requests from Chris and others. He refused to talk about wedgies, but do you really blame him? The other person I wanted to bring up was the mess schedule. He uses Chris's request to basically receive fame in little over six months. She even made a picture of Chris, not wedgie related, and stated in the description that she basically got a whole lot of views because of him. What a whore. But nowadays, Domestic is trying to fight off the whore thing of her character. She made a journal about how her character isn't a whore and is meant to be innocent. But let's look at how innocent her character really is. Those pictures she did, doesn't like people drawing them, are still on her page. Innocent? No. Some people who know Black Evil may think he's worse. He can't draw either, and clearly she shows that with shitty bases that he never made. Just re-edits of other ones. But they both fall into the category, into that specific category. Mike the Hedgehog! And that's in all caps, by the way. And the greatest one, pretty egotistical username, don't you think? And Sonic Wedgies are in their category too, and they deserve it. While I'm on the Sonic of Sonic Wedgies, there's also that case of classic denial in a community. From people involved in finishes, SW is an example. Before he retweeted! from the internet, or from DA, he tried to make it clear that he didn't have a fetish for, you know, wedgies. Yeah, clearly. People without fetishes favorite mostly pictures of them, make groups about them, make stories, characters, and art about them, and finally make requests about them. Right? Right. Well, I'm not done here. He is, or, well, he has left the internet. But why? Because his mom doesn't want him. He, she says that he is meeting weird people. I will tip my hat off to his mom if she really is trying to get this creep off the internet. But I don't know completely, because how do you take a weird person away from other weird people? That sounds like she's taking them away from home. I don't know. Some of the posts in the wedgie category go beyond the boundaries of fucked up. 
you just can't unsee most fetish stuff. Some people who made wedgie content didn't do it because somebody asked them to. They did it on their own. Some of the people who do certain things and other fetishes somewhat made themselves targets. But here, I can't really put the blame on most people. Did you know that this was a fetish? No? Then I can't blame you. Yeah. Internet is for internet is for internet is for porn! Yeah!